another level today. They act like Chick-fil-A is giving away free water or something. I mean, they are selling water, but it's not free. You still gotta pay for it. And this line is extra, extra long. It's like still going. <sighs> but I made it through. I got my sandwich. I'm happy about it. I'm starving. Still going. Oh, and this car broke down. Oh, I feel so bad for her. It's not the time to be having car problems. And it's hot out here, y'all. I don't know if you know. It's probably like a whew, 90 degrees outside. I'm <laughs> prepping the house. Hurricane Irma prep is hot and sticky, and I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. I'm over it. We got like three more windows to do, and I'm still getting bit. But yeah, we're prepping. Pray for us. Side prep is done, thank God, because it's hot. Well, it's getting sort of breezy, so bad side prep is done. And now we're gonna do the, well, dang it, we gotta do the door. Hold up. Bad prep is right there. Radio legend here in Tampa, so thank you for oh, that voice. Oh, that's like the and worst day before the hurricane. Bad luck, baby. In an accident. Oh, oh, in a hurricane. Man, man, that's the worst. What's the ice for you, man? Get some ice. Look at this What's line. The ice for you, man? I don't know, Dad. Tiana's like, you need ice. And I'm just like, no, we don't really need ice. I know. I you want me to get out and go see? Yeah, we're going out and see. We're gonna walk up. Oh, yeah, go walk up. I guess there's walk up over here. It's real trying to get ice last minute. Yeah. What? Drive up. I'm gonna walk up. It's gonna be a stop by. They're selling it right out the back of the truck. Yeah, yeah, they must have just pulled up, but people are coming. Let's go in there and need some help. Hey, he's in there now. I think I paid the we trying to get out of the yeah, gas station. Out, right? but if you're in a level, yeah, we got this the line. real concern is the flooding and the storm surge. Yeah, go right here. And right. with hurricanes, level a. the surge has been flooding the killer. But during surge. the actual hurricane itself, you can talk it's the that. storm surge that courting. kills more people. Uh, yes. Now, after a hurricane, it's amazing. More this people said, die sorry, actually we closed. after yeah, a hurricane. Man, what a they closed. Carbon oh. monoxide poisoning. They like, the wait. Out. And they didn't even put their water in They put that up. <laughs> All right, we have made it to Bayshore. Me and mom out here. Mom, say hi. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh my God, this is crazy. Like usually, this is like extremely flooded. I mean, this is not flooded, but these people out here, so many people out here, the cops out here, this girl out here, her Jaywalking. <laughs> oh, the news people riding around it. <laughs> hey, riding around. What news station is that? <laughs> hey, Bessie. Somebody that wanted to be in the store. I know, right? Looking crazy. What is he wearing? <laughs> hey! Stay safe! Stay safe. Right. Aquarium might be gone. We get back to that roof though. Let's see. We are how many hours out? It's 
7.30, so we're about five hours out from the hurricane, and this is what it's looking like. Not too crazy. Water anymore is not going to gain strength any longer. This is going to start to disintegrate, and that is great news news for Tampa, St. Pete, Pinellas, uh, all the areas up there going to see a lesser storm than if it was just slightly offshore. Here's the track. We don't have to guess anymore. No spaghetti plots. Just one piece of spaghetti does it. That's the actual track of the storm, and it runs all the way down from Marco Island back up towards the Florida Big Bend, and incredibly, it remained a Category 2 all the way up till the pasco Hillsborough County line. It did go over my Florida area and Hillsborough. Plant City, right Hurricane Irma has been some kind of experience for me and my family. I want to thank the Lord for his grace. We are very aware of the alternative and we are praying for the families that were affected south of us. This is what happens when everything's closed and there's no electricity in South Tampa. Everybody goes to the one place it's open. And they don't have any meat as of right now. Or, okay, they don't have anything, but what do they have? Oh, they have vegetable lo mein and vegetable fried rice. So everybody is waiting for that. And it's cash only.